What's going on everyone? Today I'm going to teach you how to do the high cable chest fly to really get the most engagement of your chest. And a lot of people are making a ton of mistakes with this exercise. So listen up, I'm going to give you the A to Z walkthrough. First and foremost, smash that like. And if you want a free gift, first link in the description down below. As you can see, a full form guide to walk you through all of your exercises. Let's jump into it. So first and foremost with positioning, you want the cable as high as you physically can. Um, with the high cable fly, you can switch the position you do this in and that will just change the focus of where you're working your chest. A lot of people think it will change the exact muscles working. Like if I go low, it's only lower chest. You're gonna work your full chest. It's just gonna be what you're really focusing on uh, for its development and contraction. So I like to start high for this exercise. Um, in terms of grip, some people like open palm, some people like closed palm. You'll see there's a lot of preference in this exercise and my number one tip for you today is do what you get the best contraction with where you can really feel that squ uh, chest being engaged and working within this exercise just because I like doing it with my um, hands closed try different things and really experiment and say okay that's where I'm feeling things so you can grab both your cables I recommend starting out light as you're learning and as you can see on the screen here there's two different stances you can do I prefer staggered stance um, because I find I have a little bit more balance when you're upright like this I find your torso is more prone to lean and be all thrown around so you're gonna step out now a big mistake people make is they lean too far forward. This is all my shoulders and biceps. I know working shoulders and biceps is fun, but that is not our goal with this exercise. So instead you're gonna retract your scapula, stand up tight, really squeeze those abs, open up your arms nice and wide, come in and squeeze, squeezing that chest, open up, letting it pull out, squeeze that chest. A great tip you can do here, is really focus on squeezing from the bottom of your chest and a big bonus tip, bring those elbows together. By bringing your elbows together, you'll actually engage more of your chest. If you think of squeezing your hands together, you're gonna actually engage more of your biceps. This is a little thing people don't know. Once again, you're gonna grab them, play with your grip. You can have closed or open, lean forward, chest up, scapula back, squeezing those elbows, nice slow negative, and breathe into it. And keep playing around with different things where you get the best contraction. If you wanna try even lower, okay, maybe I'm feeling it less there. Right here, there it is. So keep experimenting with different things, but real quick, my boy Kyle is gonna show you three common mistakes you might be doing. Make sure to avoid these. Oh man, there's the first common mistake right there. It's way too heavy weight, and what happens is a lot of times, this is an isolated contraction fo focus exercise, okay? A lot of times, People do not leave their ego at the door. You know, I'm all for lifting heavy, the bench press, the incline bench press, all that good stuff. But this is a nice isolation movement. Leave your ego at the door, control it. And the biggest common mistake is a lot of people will load up way too heavy and then bend their elbows way too much, which will just put this simply focus on the shoulders. Absolutely no chest, it's almost pointless. It's gonna load up the shoulders uncomfortably. Stay away from doing this. And number two common mistake, I know Josh has already mentioned on this, but I just wanted to make it very, very known, is a lot of times people just roll their shoulders forward way too much, okay? So they're not following any of the tips Josh said. Your shoulders are rolled way forward, and it's just a very awkward, it's hard to get a full range of motion. Once again, you load up the anterior delt way too much, and you're already getting a lot of anterior delt work from every other exercise. You wanna make sure that your back is retracted, your shoulders are upright, and you're not just like hunched forward doing one of these things, because once again, you're just not gonna be getting many benefits from this exercise. And number three common mistake, as you can see, a lot of these tie in with just using way too heavy weight. In my opinion, once again, control and contractions are the best for this exercise, okay? So a lot of people just aren't maximizing the full extension. And this is gonna be different for everyone, but once someone's doing this exercise, a lot of them will just stop right here and then bring it back here. You wanna make sure you're getting a big, 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 big stretch, but this is also gonna be different for everybody. For someone like myself, I have a bit of shoulder pain, so I wanna to go to the point where I don't bother myself, which will probably be about here. For someone like Josh, he can probably go a little bit further. Push yourself and make sure you're getting full extension because you don't wanna get half the results that you can from this exercise. So thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully this helped you out. We are the number one online fitness experts for form and for online coaching. If you ever have any questions about anything, drop it down below. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel, get that free form guide, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.